Yup, it's the Mighty Jalak, aka Cat. Um, this time I'm going to be showing you uh, two things really. First of all, how to get a flyer like an owl into a cave. The reason that's useful is so when you're raiding, you can bring a healing dinosaur into the cave with you. Now, usually a cave spits you off a flyer, as you can see there in the video. Um, so we're just going to do a little exploit to get a flyer in. I'm just going to show you that. I mean, you can bring deodons in as healers or raw meat and things like that to heal your dinosaurs, but um, or veggie cakes, obviously. But um, as it's not really efficient enough when you want to be draining, you know, fucking death walls in caves like the Ice Cave or Carno Cave or the Pack or wherever you may be. So um, the exploit to get flyers in specifically the Snow Owl for the beneficial reason of healing is you just get a player to sit on it and walk it in. And then you'll be able to use the ability with your L2 um, to heal up uh, your soakers or players. Even in the Ice Cave, if people haven't got fur, you can heal them up. Just bear in mind it will cut your food timer down. Um, there is a drawback to uh, this, uh, and it is that someone must be seated on the snow owl at all times. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to get back on it. So uh, bear in mind, whoever's going to take the job of walking down the whole fucking cave to get the snow owl to the point where you would be healing. As you can see here by the water, if you were going to drain a, a death wall on the other side of this water, you would have the owl positioned here. And every time the stego, the racer, the turtle, or whatever soak you're on, you just heal it up. As you can see, when you hop off, you can't hop back on. So you'd have to whistle the owl um, all the way out of the cave and then walk it back down but so whoever's going to be on it if someone's going to eat some food or go for a smoke get them to sit on the owl and just keep peeling up now um next i'm going to show you how to actually infinitely soak death walls turret towers whatever i'm just going to show you it on the ice cave as uh, this is the most recent footage of me using this little trick as you can see here we have a soaker pulled up against a death wall so the health of that soaker this is how you drain turrets you you get a dino with high health and you get it to tank the bullets until the walls empty then you blow the wall up very simple however you usually have to swap soakers out with the snow owl method you can pull the snow owl into the position where your soaker is getting shot and freeze it this will heal the owl and the player on the soaker but the the dino doesn't ever have to be moved from where the turrets are shooting it you never have to swap out soaker you never even have to move yeah you can just stay seated in the same position for for as long as you like as long as you got food and water so you don't you know torpor all the time you'll be able to just sit in front of a turret tower a base a death wall and just continuously drain bullets as you can see here with this strike that i'm doing in the ice cave he just sat here and as you see here I'm going to freeze a player as well so it works out in dangerous environments and people don't have the right equipment. You can just heal people up as well, your teammates. But more importantly, uh, this is a trick to actually infinitely drain turret towers uh, and it's vital in... Um, in in close quarters combat really i mean in turret towers outside people's bases there's always a chance of you getting sniped off your snow out however in a uh, cave raids where there's choke points is it's probably pretty hard for them to take you off the owl so you can just sit behind the soaker and just continually heal it up so you can drain as much of that wall as quickly as possible this is the mighty gelat hope you found the infinite draining turret tower video useful uh, yeah, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.